Outside the city of Acre, the troops of Philip Augustus, King of France, were joined by those of Richard, King of England. Well, my friends, we've got bad news, sir. Well, let me have it. The Emperor Barbarossa is dead. Dead? He had just laid siege to Coria, capital of Armenia, when he decided to go swimming. <coughs> Alas, he got cramps on ground. <coughs> What shall we do? We shall have to continue besieging Acre, Richard. Come what may. Good. Now, no, Philip, we no I'm longer have enough men. We'd better attack. Yeah. You're right. Let's sound yeah. the call to combat. Suddenly from hey, the mountains comes Saladin's army to save come the besieged the city. Huh? There's no way we can attack now. Camps were pitched on either side of the ramparts. Lookouts were posted. And between skirmishes, the armies fraternized. <laughs> A no man's land was created. Complete with shops, more than 7,000 of them. There was haggling, bartering swords for liquor, coats of mail for goats. There were even wild parties. But how can we do battle when we're so outnumbered? Various tactics were reviewed. And finally, a desperate attack was launched. The Crusader's flag flew over Acre by the time King Philip of France made his farewells. You have done your duty, Philip. Richard I continued on towards Jerusalem, where he earned his nickname, Richard the Lionhearted. Gold! We're surrounded! Crusaders reached Jerusalem. Richard didn't dare lead an attack. The walls were too strong, and his army was surrounded by Saladin's men. The besiegers ran too great a risk of becoming the besieged. And so his troops laid down their arms and set up camp. One day, at dawn, while the Crusaders slept. What? Hey, what's going on? Oh, a fearless buddy. Let's get on. Come on, pal. Let's go. Richard and some of his cavaliers had time to don their armor and lead an attack. After hours and hours of combat, Richard and his horse had more arrows than a porcupine has quills. His exhausted steed fell at last. On September 3rd, 1192, Richard and Saladin signed a peace treaty granting the Christians free access to the Holy Land. Richard the Lionhearted committed himself to another expedition later on to win back Jerusalem. His new friend Saladin replied, If I must lose my land, then I'd rather lose it to you than to any other man in the world. The years go by. Bert's children carry on his work. His grandchildren, in turn, do their share. Generation succeeds generation, and the walls grow higher. The cathedral is nearing completion. Listen to me, my brethren. A new crusade. The infidels have once again soiled the Holy Land. Listen to me. The infidels have once again soiled the Holy Land, my friends. Thank you for the cathedral. Yes, what we'll have to do is prop it up. Hey, you. Let's talk man to man. Trips, you know, make boys into men. Very well, we accept your enlistment. Eureka, I found it. Yippee, yippee. Oh, oh yippee. Oh, oh, oh. I've got it. My system is really perfect this time. Let's try it. Hey, up there, take it easy. Oh. 
it's really up to snuff. Or almost. Hey, what? There's nothing serious bleeding and powder of staghorn. Staghorn. Not so fast. That customer's mine. Aye, ah, right. Sometimes one gets confused, Your Worship. Right now, there's one that's still alive. This one for me. Master, will you come see our offerings for the cathedral? Oh, look, can't you see? I'm yeah, I'm up to my uh, up to my neck in work. Uh, oh, wait a My second. statue is rather impressive. Now, this fabric, feel it if you please. I'm sure this remarkable Madonna. He finally done stained glass window, one of marvelous ensemble. And... Fine, fine, let's go. Watch out below! It's known as flamboyant gothic. You see, it's solid. I was right after all. Veridico host muros nomine but I possible. Enter my brethren, enter my brethren. Come in, brethren, into the house of the Lord. Enter my brethren. The cathedral, the house of the people, was at last complete in all its splendor. There would be a few more crusades. One of them made the mistake of attacking the Catholic city of Constantinople and looting it. The last crusade ended with the fall of Christianity's last bastion, St. John of Acre in 1291, and so ended what Pope Urban II had begun two centuries earlier. And whether God willed it or no, the era of the Crusades inspired Europe to some of her finest achievements in church architecture.